Hello, and welcome to The Inheritance of Crimson Manor. You might remember that I played the demo to this game last year and very much enjoyed it. Well, the full game has just been released. The developers were kind enough to send me over a key, but if you want to get it for yourselves, the links and the details are down below in the description, alright? Now, this is going to be a first-person puzzle game with some light horror elements, where we're going to be exploring the Victorian manor of my former employer, who recently died unexpectedly along with his entire family. Very strange indeed. Maybe something's afoot. Maybe something isn't quite what it seems. We're going to find out as we explore Crimson Manor, and hopefully we're going to have a good time as we do it. Really hope you enjoy it. Here we go. The Inheritance of Crimson Manor. After working for more than ten years as the private assistant of the enigmatic railroad magnate Hadley Strange, the news of his sudden death, along his entire family, takes you by surprise. Well, I imagine it would. Now you've been appointed as the executor, in charge of fulfilling his last will, and take care of his majestic manor, a luxurious property on the outskirts of London. Not a bad gig. Upon your arrival at the mansion, you found a cryptic set of instructions that could make you change your mind about who your former employer really was. Yes, there's secrets to find here, I feel. Alright, here we are. So, O and H, Objective and Hint. Now, because I played the demo fairly recently, I might be able to steamroll through the first initial stage of the game. We'll see. I can't leave. <laughs> I probably tried that in the demo, didn't I? But no, I still can't leave. I've got business to attend to. Like looking at this, for instance. The Victorian Post. Tragedy in the Thames. All members of the renowned Strange family have lost their lives in a tragic and mysterious boat accident. The reasons for the accident are still unknown. Rescuers continue to search for the bodies of the five members of the strange family. So they haven't found the bodies. Interesting. I wonder what my former employer has been up to. Because I honestly don't think he's dead. Okay, so there's a lot of things we can interact with in this game. Like this, for instance. We've got a doorknob. Okay. Uh, I think we might need to use it on the door over there, to be honest. But what else? Okay. Dear Probate Conservator, By express instructions of the deceased, you are the only person authorized to enter his office and give initial reading of his will. Please do so as soon as possible in order to locate the heirs and proceed with the corresponding testamentary process. One of the front doorknobs has been damaged during my visit. Please add it to the pending repairs list prior to the execution of the will. I have placed the fallen knob inside one of the bottom drawers on the entrance closet. Lionel Caron Garo. There you go. Well, I've just found it, so yeah, I should be able to fix that. Uh, what's this? Okay, an old pocket watch in disrepair. Yeah, a little bit battered, isn't it? Okay, um, I think that's all we really need to find here from memory, so let's see. Okay, so it's I to open the inventory. There we go. Uh, equip. And then we want to use it down here, don't we? There you go. Alright. So, let's go inside Crimson Manor. I really, really did enjoy the demo. Hopefully the full game doesn't disappoint. Okay. Ah, first things first. We've got ourselves a map, or several maps, actually. Yeah. As I recall, in the demo, we didn't actually have access to much. I think there was the study, the library... Maybe the art room? I'm not sure. But, yeah, big, big place. Got a basement as well. Didn't go down there. The second floor. A for the attic. Didn't go up there. Yeah, alright. Cool. Let's see. There you go. A heliography on paper. It's the first time I've seen one. Hadley and Nicholas Strange. My former employer and his son, I believe. Okay, pipe tobacco. Alright, yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff we can just examine, but it might not be all that important. Like these spectacles, for instance. This cane. The chair seems to have been recently used. How you can tell that is a real mystery to me. Are you just feeling the seat? Is it still warm? <laughs> okay, well, let's have a little look around, shall we? Okay. I'm looking for anything that jumps out at me. Something that I can read. Something that I can pick up. Uh, the drawer is full of clippings and literature about murders and serial killers. Interesting. The west wing door is locked. Okay, we need to find a key for this. Anything down here? 
I should find a few items here and there, as I recall. What's this? Crimson Blood. Looks a little bit like this place, doesn't it? A lovely Penny Dreadful there. Okay. This way. Okay, we can go around there towards the art room. Actually, I'm pretty sure the art room was locked before. And it still is. There's a lion head relief in the lock. Okay, so we're going to need, like, a lion key? Alright. Alright, let's go back to this. The old clock doesn't seem to work. I don't know if I could open this and mess around with the hands, but it's certainly the sort of game where I might be able to do that. Interesting. Okay. Well, I can pull these down. So there's definitely a puzzle here. This is just going to be one of those many instances where I'll have to keep a mental note of that. What's this? A wooden safe box with a very peculiar design. Looks like one of these towers is missing. Interesting. Right, okay, again, there you go. Gotta keep a mental note of that as well. So, round the other side? Let's see, what do we got here? Nothing unusual? Hmm, we'll see about that. He's probably right. <laughs> oh, what's this? Bedlam Asylum. Uh, patient Darlene Thomas was admitted on this mental health institution at 9am on March 14th, 1893. She was remitted from the strange family manor where she presented violent behaviours, persecution delusions, and compulsive mania. Her claims about underground illegal experiments within the manor were classified as hallucinations, hence female patient number 17 will be admitted to the schizophrenic patient's ward. Right. Interesting. Were they just hallucinations? I don't know. What was Mr. Strange up to, I wonder? We're gonna find out. Right, so that would lead to the art room as well. Uh, what's this? Dear Miss Thomas, I've lost my pocket watch somewhere in my office. I count on your valuable collaboration to find it. When done, please leave the key to my desk inside the mail organizer in the hall outside the library. Okay, and that would be to my left, right? Okay. Yes. I remember that. Yeah, I, I remember finding the key. I should be able to do that in a moment. Okay. Doesn't look like we've got anything here. No? Alright. What's this? Continental Union Telegram. Okay. From the Royal Scientific Council? Uh, in this Honourable Scientific Council, we see with extreme concern the conclusion submitted in your article about the research titled Eugenic Transliteration. The procedures described in your paper are beyond unacceptable to the ethical values of this scientific society and must be stopped immediately. Be fulfilled. I like that. Stop your shit. Be fulfilled. <laughs> Sounds so much fancier. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much that. Nothing in that corner. It's quite dark, but I don't think so. Right, this door should be open to us. Okay. Let's explore down here before we go up to the second floor, shall we? Where would this go? This would go to the games room, the drawing room, and maybe the art room as well. So naturally it's locked from the other side. We're probably going to see that quite a lot. Around here? Ah, here we go. This would be the study. And there's the library right beside it. Okay. So we've got a typewriter here. This is going to be another puzzle. We need to type in a specific set of letters. It might be a word. I can't recall exactly. But I'll have to come back to that. Another photo? Are they aboard the Titanic there? <laughs> no, I don't think so. A few years too soon. Uh, expedition log day one. Alright, as a first step for the expansion of the railway company to maritime passenger transport, we carried out an expedition to explore new sea routes aboard the Camille. The first ship of a new fleet of ships acquired for this purpose. The climate and the crew's thirst made us land on a series of small islands where I was able to make amazing observations. The inhabitants of these remote lost islands, forgotten by civilization, had very peculiar characteristics. They enjoyed vitality and a splendid appearance of youth, even in the oldest inhabitants. It seemed that time had been kind to all those people, a situation that left me extremely amazed and wondering if there was an underlying reason. Okay. All these things that I'm seeing are planting seeds of doubt in my mind as to who my employer really was and what he was getting up to. Okay, the central drawer is locked. I need to find a way to open the desk drawer. Should be able to find the key for that shortly. 
Okay. Let's see. What's this? Uh, it's a wax seal with the family heraldry. Right, there you go. Anything down here? Ah, uh, what's that? Ink? Yes, ink. Okay. Going from the bottom up over here. Okay. Gotta be honest, I was expecting to find something. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, we need to get this unlocked. Things have changed since the demo, haven't they? I'm pretty sure there used to be something up here, a little puzzle. I wonder where that's moved to. Right, we've got a map. A beautiful sea route planning world map. Right, so let's see. After traveling around the world to explore three different remote islands, my way of seeing the world changed forever. Okay. We're going to have to take another look at this, as I recall. A little bit later on. Uh, so yeah, we've got a globe over here as well. And I can move this around. Yes. I think I need to focus on these three islands. I just can't remember which ones they are. Uh, okay, we'll have to come back to that. Nothing over there on the shelf? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Anything down here? Oh. She went to the cobblers to buy him some shoes, but when he came back, he was reading the news. <laughs> A few cigars... Nice stash, really. Oh, what's in the chest? Let's have a look. Uh, Scarlet Widow, another Penny Dreadful by the looks of it. Alright, is that it? I think that's it. Okay. I thought that was a little guillotine or something there, but no. <laughs> uh, let's see, we've got a couple of cupboards back here. A box, can we open it? No. Hmm. Ah, but what's this? Ah, yes, okay. Um, so we're going to need a special combination of symbols to open this. We might be finding that in the library. Right, okay. And then of course, there's you. The old man's gaze seems to hide something. I might be right. Let's see. So... Around here? This would be the library, yeah? And I think this is where I find the key. Here we go. There it is. The desk key. A small, solid gold key. Woo. There's a photo as well. And that is showing the library. Ah, when you're open to look at problems from a new perspective, even the darkest situations suddenly become clear. Interesting. Okay. Before we go into the library, let's open that drawer, shall we? We're here for a reason, so... Let's get this open. There you go. Alright, so... What are we going to find in here? Another key! A, a key with a train motif. I don't remember finding this before. Interesting. Okay, alright. Uh, looks like there's something down here. This is the well. The kids' toys hold the key to the old's joy. I've got to investigate the children's rooms. Okay, I didn't do that in the demo. I guess that's going to be somewhere upstairs. We must pay attention to our children. Sometimes they have key things to be said in very unusual ways. Okay, so there's like building blocks here. And there's the typewriter. So we need to find these building blocks. I guess if they're not in here, they're probably going to be in the children's room. Although, to be honest... Are they not in here? I think they used to be. But they're not anymore. Interesting. Okay. So, here we are. The Butcher of Oxford Street this time. A beautiful painting titled Dreaming and Chivalry Tales. The fireplace is unlit. Maybe we can change that. This clock is missing the minute hand. Okay. There you go. Something else to keep note of. Need to find the minute hand. Ah, something over here. This switch, yes. Nothing happens. It seems that I need some kind of power source. Now, where was that? <laughs> In a way, it's kind of a bad thing that I played the demo, because I kind of remember what I need to do, but it seems like things have changed, so I don't know how to do them. Right. Okay. Uh, and a prime example of that would be this puzzle here. Let's see. Yes, I can move these books around. 
and I can twist this all around as well. Um, we're going to need to spell out a word, I believe. And I think I know what it is, but I shouldn't. And that's the issue. <laughs> so I'll come back to that later, maybe when I'm meant to figure it out. Okay, loads and loads of books. None of them interesting. So let's go upstairs. Okay. Uh, what about these books over here? These ones that are open. We've got The Raven by Poe, I think. Yeah, okay. Ah. Okay, this remains the same. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a puzzle where we just have to rearrange these books. Let's see. There we are. Okay, fantastic. So, what have we found this time? Appreciating good art, good literature, and good music will open many doors for you. Apparently. Okay. A phonograph cylinder. Kuroga. I, I don't remember finding this last time. Maybe, maybe I did, but maybe I just didn't use it. Okay, well, we need to find ourselves a phonograph, don't we? Well, there you go. Okay. This one? Uh... Not sure what that is, actually. Alright. Uh, anything else up here? I think this is the view that we got in that photograph that we just saw. We might need to come back here later. Alright. I'm not seeing anything else that I might be able to interact with. I could be mistaken. Of course, if you do see something that I don't, please leave it down below in the comments, and maybe in part two I'll come back and reinvestigate the area. I think this game is quite non-linear, so yeah, we can tackle puzzles in every which way we want for the most part. Okay, so this would lead to the ballroom. I don't believe I went to the ballroom before. Ah, the door is locked. Okay. Locked, not... Locked from the other side. Right. So, yeah, we're, we're quite restricted down here to the study and the library. I don't think we can really go anywhere else at the moment, so maybe we should go up to floor two. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm just looking around for a phonograph. I don't believe I've seen one quite yet. There might be one up here. Who knows? Right. So, what have we got? The door's locked. This lock resembles a coat of arms. Interesting. Okay, yeah, there's various keys that we're going to need to look out for. Here's that dog again. She took a clean dish to get him some tripe, but when she came back, he was smoking a pipe. <laughs> oh, that dog. What we got here? Uh, matches. Okay. Uh, well, can I pick those up? I mean, there's that fireplace that, that's unlit. Maybe I need to light a fire there. Hmm. Can't seem to take those. Alright. Something over here illuminated in the light. The great exhibition of the sciences and the arts. More than 500 attendees are expected, coming from 23 countries. Prominent businessman and pioneer Hadley Strange to offer a ball and banquet in his manner to special guests. Interesting. Got a chest here. Ooh. Oh, really? I can't have a look at that? Ah, Thought I was onto something there. Uh, more ink, I believe. Yeah, black letter ink. Okay, nothing there. Feels like there should be something special here, or a, a special puzzle. But there's not. No, not that I can see, anyway. Something here? Uh, I guess not, we can't open those. Through here? Ah, okay, so we can go through... Uh, to the corridor that leads to the twins room, the bathroom, the closet, Nicholas's bedroom, the family room, right. Something down here? Uh, yeah, there might be. What's that? A compass. Can I take this? No, I don't think so. Quite nice that you can right-click to zoom in on the minor details there. Yeah, there's a lot about this game that I like. Wait, what's this? Something's missing here. Below is an engraving in Latin that reads, The lineage is eternal. What was he up to, I wonder? An imposing portrait of Mr. Strange. His gaze was always hard and cold. Hmm. Okay. Well, we should be heading to the children's rooms, right? Here we are. This would be the, the twins' room? Okay. 
Wait, is there something over here? Let's take a look. I don't want to miss out on any details. And it looks like I didn't. Never mind. Okay, to the twins' room. Let's see. All right. Yeah, this is an area that I didn't explore in the demo, so this is all new. Okay. Again, like I always do, I'm just going to rifle through the drawers. <laughs> see what I can find. Alice Beyond Wonderland this time. Okay. I don't think they really serve any purpose aside from being little collectibles, kind of. Okay, nothing in the cup. Obviously nothing in the cup. Ooh, okay. Something going on here. Okay. Ah. Interesting. There's some sort of combination that unlocks this, I guess. Here we go. Now we're making progress. Hmm. Okay. Up here. No. All right. So it's it's these bottom ones for the, for the first three. That one. That one. Yes. Oh, here we go. What's it going to be? This one again. Ah, never mind. Okay. Well, I'm one away. This one. There you go. Okay. So can I open this? I can. And I found a gas lighter. A fine metal gas lighter with a beautiful relief and jade incrustations. Very nice indeed. Okay, that might be the reason that I couldn't pick up the matches. Maybe I can use this to light the fires. Good stuff. I suppose these would be the twins, right? The young girls appear to have an expressionless face. Hmm. Alright. Something down here? No. This door's locked. There's a, a crown shape in the lock this time. So I need a crown key to enter the closet. And the bathroom as well, I guess. Ah, oh, say I ain't so. <laughs> it looks like I can go through there. Wait, what's this? Ah! Yeah, this was in the demo, but it wasn't here. So, let's pay attention to the details here. The brave legionary soldier switched his side. He wears a green uniform now, with a colourful feathers blue hat and high boots in black. He wields a long saber now, like his moustache, long and sharp, to protect the lives of those who, with devotion and loyalty, fight along him to protect the right cause. The puzzle that that is relating to isn't here by the looks of it. No, okay. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, what's this? To my Valentine. It seems that one of the twins had a young suitor. Ah. The young suitor probably didn't know which one he was actually talking to most of the time, but yeah, okay. Nothing down there. Hello, bear. Anything strange about you? Come on, bear. What do you know? <laughs> Alright, let's stop interrogating the bear. He probably doesn't know anything. Another clock? Okay. Hmm. Alright, well I guess that's that for the twins room. There's Nicholas's bedroom, the family room we might be able to get to. The sewing room, and I think the stairs to the attic? Yeah. Some there too. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go out here and let's have a look at the other corridor, shall we? Ah! This is it! Yeah, I think this used to be in the study downstairs. But this is it. This is the other half of the puzzle, so we need to pay attention to what we were told and see if we can replicate this. So... Right, uh... He didn't have a knife, he had a sabre. And he was wearing a green uniform, like that. There you go. He had a moustache, much like that. I think he was wearing black boots as well. There we go. Sorted. Inside, we find... A chemical battery. A modern device that stores electrical energy. And I think that gets used in the library, as I recall. So we'll go down there in a moment. Is that it? That appears to be it. Okay. I'm really enjoying this. Hopefully you are as well. If you are, and you do want to see this continue as a series, if you do want to see a part two, please let me know down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video, okay? Nicholas's room. Ah, oh, it's locked. Okay. Oh, hang on. Wait. Well, I do actually have a, uh, a key with a train motif, right? Does it work? It's working! This is the key to Nicholas's room. Okay. Well, we probably should have a look at this next, shouldn't we? Which is why I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, so this is going to go round to the door that I came through initially. Alright. 
And then through here, that would lead to well, the other side. The other side that is locked from the other side, of course. Okay. Okay, so we've got some pull-down stairs. That would lead up to the attic, right? There you go. Round here's the family room. Anything down here? Anything of note? Uh, actually, yes, there is a note. Uh, Dear Miss Thomas, congratulations on your new position as the manor's housekeeper. I understand that making your way through this old mansion can be overwhelming at first, so I've put together this letter to help you get oriented. This is the ballroom hallway key, and this is the manor's west wing key. Finally, this is the service key. Use it to access the servants' area, brown wallpaper, and the dining room. Right, so we should be looking for these three keys, and maybe a few more. Right. Okay. Um... I think that's that. So, here we are. The family room, right? The family room. And there is the family. A strong smell of paint emanates from this painting. Apparently, it was recently finished. I don't think that Mr. Hadley Strange is dead. I think he's still lurking around this manor. What have we got here? Oh god, okay. What was that? Loft ladder? Is that what I saw? Loft ladder, right. The crank wheel is missing. So we need to find that as well. The mystery continues. With more than three years of investigation, the case of missing persons have not yet been resolved. Hadley Strange, founding owner of the nearby railroad company, regrets the events and expresses his concern. To be honest, I feel he might be responsible. Okay. Can't use anything here. Is there something on the back? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, I'm seeing quite a few fireplaces. Very few I can interact with, but I think the one in the library... Yeah, I might be able to get a fire going. Same with the candles. Okay. Painted in blood. Yes. Hmm. What was he up to, I wonder? Oh boy, a piano puzzle? I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> the wedding march. Uh, yeah, okay. He looks at the piano, is written down in the partiture, apparently. I don't see where, but okay. Who looks down at the piano? You? You're not really looking down at the piano, are you? Um, hmm. Okay, maybe something to do with this? Yes, okay. Alright. <laughs> oh, hang on, what have we got here? Ah, oh, well, this is a puzzle. Wait, so hang on, is it... Oh, yeah, okay. We've got, we got physics. <laughs> All right, tilt it over here. Oh, this is going to be a little bit awkward, actually. Uh, over there. <laughs> where is the ball? I don't even know where it is. Okay, it's at the top. Where are we going? We need to go all the way to the top right corner, down and around. We're trying to get into that hole, presumably, so okay. All right, that should be somewhere near the corner. Down here, there you go. I always find this quite fiddly, actually. Okay, over there. Are we... Oh, okay, keep it going, keep it going, I think. It, it's kind of annoying that we can't really look at what we're doing. But, right? Uh, it, yes. Yes, just like that. Another key! Another key! This is the ballroom hall key. Hey, look at that, okay. Looks like we'll be inspecting the ballroom. Brilliant. Anything in the drawer? No. That was pretty cool. I like that, yeah. Respawn the ball? I guess we can do it again if we want. Or, well, maybe you get it somewhere that you can't tilt it out of. Have to reset. Okay. Right, so there's definitely something going on with the painting. There's something going on with the piano. There's something going on with the entire place. Around here? That would lead to the sewing room, apparently. Okay. Thankfully, the door is locked from the other side. This is now going to point me in the right direction. This is going to point me in the direction of Nicholas's room. Right, okay. Interesting room you got, Nicholas. <laughs> I don't object. Nothing down here? Nothing down there, okay. Ah, okay. It's not his bedroom as such. It's the little ensuite next to it. Here we go, this is more like it. Right, so... Let's see. Got a little piano here. 
rocking horse. We've got some blocks. Here we go. This is what we're looking for, right? Ah, here we go. Yeah, these used to be down in the library, I believe. I don't like this word. Every time my father yells it, he makes us take more medicines with a strange taste that makes me feel weird. Especially the most recent red one. I never want to take it again. Hmm, okay. So here we go. Another puzzle. It's a word, isn't it? I guess the green goes with the green, the blue goes with the blue. That goes there. Oh, it's, it's Eureka! Eureka, yes! So that goes there. There you go, they stay fixed in that position. So, is that what we need to type out on the typewriter? I think it, I think it might be. I think I'm gonna do that right now before I forget, to be honest. Here we are then, so, Eureka. Was that it? That's it, okay. Turns out he was hiding something. A time, I think. 7.45. And there is, of course, a safe. Hmm. Look for clues that can illuminate your mind to find the key to the safe. Illuminate your mind. Interesting way of wording that, right. So what have we got here? We've got that. We've got that. I might know where to use that, and I might know where to use that as well. And of course, we've got access to the ballroom as well. I'm kind of curious about the ballroom. I want to go into somewhere new. So let's check out the ballroom first. It's going to be this door here, right? There you go. Alright. And the door is unlocked and now open. Fantastic. Right. Okay, something down here? Uh, doesn't look like it, no. Here we are, the ballroom. And a phonograph, okay. Anything down here before we go in? Uh, there is. Dance macabre, all right. What have we got here? Oh boy, okay. We're moving the books around again. Um, I don't know in which order we need to put these though. Right, yeah, I'll keep an eye out for these symbols, I suppose. And maybe I can find a clue for it in the ballroom. Down here? Uh, nothing of interest by the looks of it. Okay, so the ballroom. Let's take a look, shall we? What have we got down here? Ah, ah! Right, we're going to be finding the monocle soon. That's going to add another dimension to this game. This monocle will help you see things as I saw them. With it, you'll understand my way of seeing the world. And there you go. My personal stamp will help you find my hidden messages. We saw the little stamp in the desk drawer, didn't we? We need to find this. Vitae Cyclone. Right, the life cycle of a tree. Interesting. Okay, nothing on the back? No? Okay. Right, so... Uh, here we are. Okay, I guess we're gonna find maybe three cylinders. I've got one of them, so... Let's equip that, and use it there, or here. Here we go, okay, so... Right, this one. Right, let's listen. Maybe I'm gonna get some sort of clue. This is going to be a clue, but it is really quite beautiful music. Right, okay, I'm gonna quit. I might come back to this when I found another one, or the next two, possibly. Hmm. Okay. Right. 
Holy shit, look at all these. <laughs> Should there be one here as well? No? Looks like an empty frame to me. What's this? Oh boy. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Okay, I can pull on all of them by the looks of it. I, I don't know which ones I need to pull on. Maybe all of them, but probably not. It's probably a bit more refined than that. Okay, this door would lead to the games room, the drawing room, and maybe more access to the art room. Which is exactly why it's locked. This lock resembles a harp. This is worse than bloody Resident Evil, isn't it? There's so many keys we need to find. Okay, alright. So, yeah. We're gonna have to come back to that, I think. Up next... Well, up next, I suppose I'm gonna check out the library again, right? Yeah. So, the fireplace is unlit. Can we change that? Yes, we can. And- oh. Oh. They're the symbols that I'm keeping an eye out for, right? The books. A new journal entry. I didn't actually realize I had a journal, but we've got a journal! <laughs> I guess there's something we've missed. Um, but right, okay, so it's dragon, the woman, the tower, the knight, and then the horse. Okay. Well, that's nice that I got a journal. Okay, cool. Um, so we've also got this, a chemical battery. I think I might be able to use it down here with this switch. Yeah! Okay. There you go. And now this is illuminated, and I'm pretty sure it is just that. They're somewhat familiar to me, but there's something about them that doesn't fit. And that's because I'm not looking at them from the right perspective. Remember back to one of the first photos that we saw in this game. And there you go. If I stand right here, there are the symbols we're looking for. And, oh! Again! Oh, there you go! Yeah, I'm putting them in the journal. Lovely! Well, no need for pen and paper in this game, I guess. Fantastic! Right, so that puzzle is in the study, isn't it? So let's go back to the study. And finally... This one? There you go! Alright, so, what's inside the box? There it is. The monocular. So it's F to equip and remove it. Let's try it right now. Yeah, it's very the room, isn't it? Okay, so certain things will be illuminated when I'm wearing this. So who knows how many hidden clues that I've wandered by. But let's begin with this one, yeah. Okay, it's an expedition that began on the Solomon Islands, that's right. Continued through Cuba, returned to Great Britain, then ended in Madagascar. And that's also been added? Oh, fantastic. I love this journal. Yeah, I don't know if that was in the demo. Maybe that's a new edition, but yeah, very, very helpful. So, yeah, all the way around to Cuba, then Great Britain, Madagascar. I think we should be able to replicate that using this. So let's put that away for now. And let's give this a spin, shall we? So, let's see. There you go. There seems to be some trigger mechanism. We're skipping over to Cuba now. There you go. And then... Great Britain. And finally, Madagascar. There you go. Alright! That's another key, isn't it? A key to the West Wing. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, we'll be checking that out at some point. But I think I want to take a look at this. Yeah. Alright, this one I can open. This one doesn't seem quite as broken, and this one... I can change the hour, I can change the minutes. What was that? Oh, what was the time? Was it... I think it was 7.45? 7.45. Let's see. So, <laughs> let me just rotate it so I can see it properly. There you go. 7.45. There you go! Right, the puzzle isn't over quite yet. So we've got to rotate these. There's something underneath, isn't there? Okay. Right. Oh, hang on. I, I think I've actually got this round the wrong way. Yeah. Mm, yes, I think so. So, let's put 
the the wider side down at the bottom because we need the head of the key to come out, don't we? Like that. There you go. So two keys. This is the strongbox key. It appears to be a key to a safe. This safe, maybe? Let's try it, shall we? Alright, yeah. It seems to fit. We're getting it open. Alright. Okay. What have we got here? What's this? It's a it's a bronze medallion. With an embossed gear. Where does this go, I wonder? Does that mean anything to anyone? Is that one of the puzzles that I've glossed over? I don't know. I'll keep that in mind. There's also something here, too. In the Manor's art room, guarded by cold, timeless heroes, lies my life's work. A priceless legacy, destined to change the way we understand the world and the future of humanity itself. This is my true legacy, and it will await eternally for the one who demonstrates the four unshakable virtues under which I directed my own life. These would be the four. Ah, right, okay, so maybe this gets placed in the art room. Yeah. Four of these statues with four of these medallions. I guess we're looking for three more. And that's it? That appears to be it, okay. So, do we go to the West Wing? Or do we just look around the rest of this place with this monocular? I kind of want to do that. I'm still looking for the clue that might help me solve this puzzle. <laughs> I guess that's going to be a, a little bit later on in the game. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything illuminated in here. I could be wrong. Again, if you notice something that I don't, please let me know about it. Um, through to the ballroom then? Actually, I suppose I, I could put these in order, couldn't I? So let's see. Uh, so it's, it's drag- right, okay. So, that one's gonna go there, that one there, that's it! Ah, it's another cylinder, isn't it? Yeah, Columbia, right, okay. Well, we'll listen to that in a moment. Let's see. Nothing, I- oh, no, there is something here. I was hoping there was gonna be some sort of hint. Right. Oh, the, the life cycle, right? From seed to withered old tree. Okay, well these are all in sections, so I guess maybe there's one in this section, then one in that section, one in that section, and finally one here. Okay. Uh, I've also got another cylinder, so of course I'm going to have a listen. So, let's choose this second one. Again, I don't think this is going to help. At least, not right now. I think I understand. I think I understand. Maybe that one, yeah. And then we're looking for a, a withered old tree. And to be honest, I think I've just seen one. <laughs> Apologies. But yes, okay, right. So it is a life cycle from birth to... Well, near death, I think. Right? That one. And that one. She's growing up. That one. And this one. But yes! Okay. Alright. There you have it. That's the last of the phonograph cylinders. Oxford Records this time. Right, so maybe this is going to help us. So, let's put this one down. There you go. And let's listen to this third one. Ah, look at that! A key comes out! I, right, uh, this is... It's the harp key! A gold key that resembles the shape of a harp. Interesting. That was for this door, wasn't it? Okay. So, I can go through here. Maybe I can access the game room, the art room, the drawing room. But I've also got the key to the West Wing, which I believe was down there, leading to the music room and... Well, whatever this is. Hmm. 
Well, let's see. Let's get this unlocked, shall we? Yeah. It's working. And here we go. The west wing door is locked, but not for long. So, this place is really opening up to us. Where do we go next? Do we go to the west wing? Do we go to the game room, the drawing room, the art room? I'm going to end the video here and let you decide down below in the comments, alright? Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this first part. And if you do want to see a part two, leave this video a like, alright? See you in the next one. I can't leave. <laughs> I probably tried that in the demo, didn't I? But no, I still can't leave. The chair seems to have been recently used. How you can tell that is a real mystery to me. Are you just feeling the seat? Is it still warm? <laughs> Be fulfilled. I like that. Stop your shit. Be fulfilled. <laughs> Sounds so much fancier. We're gonna need to spell out a word, I believe. And I think I know what it is, but I shouldn't. And that's the issue. <laughs> so I'll come back to that later. That one? Yes! Oh, here we go. What's it gonna be? This one again. Ah, never mind. Come on, bear. What do you know? <laughs> All right, let's stop interrogating the bear. He probably doesn't know anything. Well, we probably should have a look at this next, shouldn't we? Which is why I'm not going to. <laughs> Are we... Oh, okay, keep it going, keep it going, I think. It, it's kind of annoying that we can't really look at what we're doing. Nicholas's room. Right, okay. Interesting room you got, Nicholas. <laughs> I don't object. Oh boy. Oh no. Are you kidding me? This lock resembles a harp. This is worse than bloody Resident Evil, isn't it? There's so many keys we need to find. A new journal entry. I didn't actually realize I had a journal, but we've got a journal. <laughs> and then we're looking for a, a withered old tree. And to be honest, I think I've just seen one. <laughs> Apologies. 